Hello and welcome. As you can hear, I have got a mega sore throat. Um, so not sounding the best, but it is Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Because it's Christmas Eve, you know who's coming tonight and you know who's pulling his sleigh. I have got my Rudolph jumper on to do the prediction leagues, wherever the anchors are. There we go. So I've got my Rudolph jumper on, ready for today. So, <clears throat> yesterday, looking at the um, the results from the weekend, I didn't do too very, didn't do very well at all. I got three out of seven right. Not the best weekend, but we have got a game on Boxing Day. We've got one on the twenty seventh, and we've also got a game on the twenty eighth. So let's run through the games, and we'll put my predictions on, and hopefully we'll do better. So the first game off on Boxing Day is going to be Tottenham Hotspurs versus Southampton. Obviously Southampton drew at the weekend and Tottenham did win again away from home like they keep doing. But can they do it at Wembley against Southampton team? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to put this one down to a 2-0 win to Spurs. Can you hear this? Every time I move, the bells jingle. Next up, Bournemouth versus West Ham United. West Ham, what are you doing to me? Every time I predict you to win, you lose. If I predict you to lose, you win. I just can't seem to get it with you. Obviously, Bournemouth did get a good battering against Man City again. So, with West Ham going away from home, I'm going to put this one down for a... Boring 1-1 draw. Chelsea versus Brighton. Um, myself and my dad, as you know, I said on the last video, we have, I'm a big Everton fan, he's a Chelsea fan, and we watched the second half together. And to be fair, yeah, they have most possession. Um, we did hit their own crossbar and everything, but they weren't pro producing a lot of clear-cut chances. It was always far away, and obviously it was a nil-nil draw. Really good tactics from um, Big Sam again. But I can see them. How did Brighton do at the weekend? They drew 1-1, one, one, didn't they? No, they won 1-0 one, one, against Watford, which is a really good result after how Watford have been doing so far this year. I'm so not so optimistic that Brighton will get any points in this game, though. So I'm going to put this one down to a 2-0 Chelsea win. Next up, Huddersfield Town versus Stoke City. After Stoke City got... Thrashed by West Ham. They then go and beat West Brom at home. 3-1. What is going on with Stoke? Did Mark Hughes um, use the old Fergie hairdryer treatment? Because something went right that day. Um, and against Huddersfield, who... How did Huddersfield do? They drew 1-1 with Southampton, which is a really good result. So I'm actually going to go for the same scoreline they did in the last game. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw for Huddersfield versus Stoke. Manchester United versus Burnley. I was one goal out. I said it was going to be 2-1 to United and it ended up being 2-2. Two -two, which is a really good result for Leicester. Um, but at home, Man United against Burnley. I'm going to go for a big one. I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Manchester United on Boxing Day. Next up, Watford versus Leicester City. Watford has seemed to be... Seem to have lost the ball again now. They started off the season really, really well. It looks really, really promising. But now they're going off the ball. I'm going to put this one down to a 2 1 Leicester City away win. West Brom versus Everton. I wish I was going to this game. The way we're playing, hopefully Rooney will be fit because I think we did miss him. People laugh when we signed Rooney in the summer and I said, no, he's going to be a really, really good signing for us. Um, it would be good to do another vlog going to an Everton game. Um, so I pity I'm not going to the West Brom game. I would have enjoyed going to that one because I think we're going to go for a 2-1 away win to Everton. Next up, Liverpool versus Swansea City. Obviously, without their new manager, Swansea did draw with Crystal Palace 1-1. Liverpool did draw 3-3 with Arsenal. I thought I was going to get a correct scoreline there. I did actually put that down for a 2-2 draw. Um, but 
But I'm going to go for a, a Liverpool win. I'm going to go for a 3-1. No, correct that. I don't think Swansea are going to score, even with the dodgy defence they've got. I'm going to play for 3-0 to Liverpool. If it comes to 3-1, I'm going to be gutted. Um, next up on Wednesday is going to be a big game. Newcastle United at home versus Manchester Free scoring City. Um, no other, no other thing. I was surprised they actually beat where uh, they beat West Ham at the weekend, Newcastle three two. But I don't, they're not going to get anything against City. I'm going to put it down to um, four nil away win because they just seem to be scoring fours all the time. And then the last game is going to be on Thursday at. 8 o'clock, and it's Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Arsenal seem to have kicked into second gear again, which is going to be good. Crystal Palace, not so good. They, did, they only drew with Swansea. I'm going to put this down to a 3-1 away win to Arsenal. So that wraps up my predictions for uh, the Christmas fixture list. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you give me a thumbs up. And also comment below what scores you think might actually happen if, any, if you think that I'm going to get any wrong and what you think there's going to be doing. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.